Welcome to that tutorial dedicated to data analysis and visualization with Sphinx. From the home page of Sphinx DeClick, I can choose the survey I'm interested in. And by clicking on that chart, I can access to all the analysis facilities. From that first screen, I can get to the reports I already have started, or I can create a new visualization from scratch. Let's go. From here, I can select some of the pre-existing reporting templates or I can start from an empty view and this is what we are going to do. I just need to give a name to that new report and click on OK. Here is the environment of Sphinx the Click for data analysis and reporting. On the left, you can see all the variables of your survey. On the right, you get access to some of the specific functionalities for analyzing your data. On the top of the screen, you can see some general tools, while on the bottom, you have a Pages Manager. In the center of the page will be your working space. On this space, you can easily insert tables or graphs related to the variables you want to analyze in your survey. Just take the variable from the list and drag and drop it on the page like this. Then, that object can easily be deleted, moved or modified thanks to all the different options you have here on the right side of the screen. For instance, you can ask for a table together with the chart, you can change the type of the chart and enlarge a little bit the picture. Let's see now some more specific options we have for tables. For example, I can add the frequencies on the table to the percentages here. The answers can be ranked according to the alphabetical order or according to the frequencies like this. I can also create some categories of answers, like for example here the look will be made of the design and fashion. I click on OK and that category is created into the table and I can see the details of the category clicking on that button. For some specific variables like scale, I can use and apply weights for all the different levels of the scale. For example, here between 6 and 9 euros is defined as 7.5. Then I can visualize and use the different numerical values associated to the scale. I can ask also here for the standard deviation if needed. Let's see some options dedicated to the graphs. For example, here I can change the type of the chart, decide to have the data labels or not, the same applies for the legend, and of course I can change the colors of the graph. Some specific graphs are available for numerical variables like for example, here, the value indicator. For textual variables, we can get some word clouds. Thanks to the options here, we can reduce the number of items presented on the map and define a filter. Thanks to that, we will only see the responses from a specific country, like here, France. In the analysis environment, I can drag variables here to be used as filters. For example, I want to compare the results according to the gender. The filter is defined here and I can click on the various modalities to compare men and women's responses, for example. Let's see now how Sphinx is particularly efficient in performing cross-tabulation and comparative data analysis. To 
perform the cross tabulation, let's first create a new page. Then I just need to drag and drop the two variables that I want to cross here, the shops, and later the country. And then dragging and dropping the second one, I need to choose cross and I get the cross analysis. Here again, I can decide to focus on a table or on a chart. I can change the type of the chart. The bubble grid, for example, is very useful. And in a more advanced way, I can perform the statistical test. In this case, it will be the key square and our relationship is here very significant. Now, let's see how to perform multivariate analysis with Sphinx Declic. If I want to perform, for example, a multiple correspondence analysis, I need to go here in the advanced analysis module where you can find a certain number of multivariate analysis. Let's choose correspondence analysis and let's indicate to the software what are the variables we are interested in. Here I will select country, then the main shops and the shopping occasions. I will have to click on finish and get very very quick access to the factorial map and I can see the position of the various uh, answers modalities. If I want to have a more uh, statistical detail result, I will click here and I can visualize, for example, the contributions of the various answers modalities to the different factors. Very similarly, I can perform principal component analysis. I just need to click here and select the variables that I want to take into consideration in that analysis. I click on finish and get very, very quick access to the factorial map. I can see the position of all observations according to all the variables I have considered. Once again, if I am more interested in the statistical detailed results, like, for example, the contribution of the variables to the different uh, factors, I can click and see the statistical information here. In Sphinx Declic, I also have access to K-means classification. In that specific menu, I just need to select the variables to be used for constituting the groups and click on finish. Then. I will get a first solution proposed by the software, but I can also decide on a fixed number of clusters, like for example here, three. Then I can visualize the groups and interpret them according to their positions on the various variables of the analysis. When the groups are interpreted, I can name them, like for example here, group A are the emotionals. Group B are the rationals. And C, the economicals. If I'm happy with that interpretation, I can save the groups. Then I have another variable in my survey and I can use it to compare, for example, the different clusters by age groups and other variables I have in my survey. Let's see finally how to share and export the results. From that button here, I can click and get a web link to be sent to the people I would like to visualize my results online. From that other section, I can print or create a document with all tables and graphs I have just created into Sphinx. That document may be a PDF, a PowerPoint or Word document in which all tables and graphs may be some independent elements. 
this is what we get for example for PowerPoint all elements can be individually moved and modified and of course we can add some complementary information on the slides. I hope you will enjoy using Sphinx and thank you for your attention.